Hello YouTube friends. Anna's away uh, tonight and so John's coming for supper. So I've just been to the shops to buy a few bits and pieces and I'm going to make us a nice supper. But first of all, I'm going to light the fire. It's a horrible day today. It's raining and cold. Even though spring's supposed to have arrived. <laughs> but I want to show you my secret weapon when I'm lighting this stove. I've got my kindling here, little scraps of wood. And I've got some pine cones as well. I use those. But I've got these weird looking things. Now, when I go and visit Ted at the candle workshop, he gives me sacks full of this stuff. These are the wicks that he trims off those carousels that are all impregnated with wax. So they're wicks, so they burn. The wax burns and they make the fire light absolutely brilliantly. You don't need much. Maybe that's even too much. But he, sack, he bags all this stuff up and gives it to his friends for fire lighters. If I put the camera here, you'll be able to see just how well that works. So a little bit more kindling on top of that. And then this is very dry, well seasoned wood. So I'll put a couple of those on top as well. A couple of small ones maybe. And with those wicks inside there, we are guaranteed a good fire every time. So I'll just set light to the paper. A bit of newspaper. And then we'll see how that takes as soon as it hits those wicks. I love lighting fires. Shut the door. I'll open this up and that will let the air go through. And so I've, I'm actually making this from a recipe. Uh, it's a recipe I found online, like all the best recipes. <laughs> and it's um, a winter stew. Like I said, when I was lighting the fire, it's a horrible day. And so I'm gonna make a stew and it's actually quite early. It's only one o'clock in the afternoon. I'm gonna make it now and get it simmering away all afternoon. And this is a stew that's got dumplings in it. So uh, I'll make the dumplings later, pop them on, and then stick that in the oven. So what I've got here then, uh, uh, and it, it, I'll, maybe I'll post the, a link to the recipe in the show notes below. Celery, leeks, potatoes, onions and carrots, and a few mushrooms, that's the vegetables. The mushrooms weren't actually in the recipe, but they were cheap, so I put them in as well. And then the other thing that I liked about this, it's got some chestnuts in. So I bought a packet of chestnuts, and I'm not gonna put many in, I'm just going to put, let's have a look. 
maybe one handful. I'm going to chop them up quite finely. You probably won't even notice they're in there, but they'll add a kind of meatiness to this vegetable stew. Well, I've got some turnips as well, or some little tiny turnips. So all my waste is on here, and that's what I put in the compost heap now. So that's done there. And then I'm going to use this pan, chop everything up and put it in this pan. So I'm going to do that now. Um, oh, the other couple of things I've got. I've got some, um, oh, not that one. I've got some chilli flakes in oil here, which I really like to use. And then it wants something tomato-y in here. So I've got this sun-dried tomato paste in here, but I've also got this passata. So I don't know which one I'll use. And then, because I'm following a recipe, I'm going to use this vegetable stock, which I bought, usually I just put a few stock granules in. And then as well, uh, I'm going to use one of these. As I say, I'm following a recipe. I wouldn't ordinarily use anything as fancy as this, but these are little sachets of bouquet garni. So they're like little tea bags, but with herbs in. So I'm going to put one of those in as well. Um, when we get to that stage, when it's gone all watery. And then, I'll just get one out now and then I can put the rest away. Just like a tea bag, you must be careful to take that out when it's towards the end of cooking. Put those back in there. You can sit up there with the spices and things. We need to put some olive oil in the pan. Get that nice and hot and then chop everything up. So, I don't think you need to watch me chop things, do you? You know how to chop onions. I'm going to make the dumplings now. I don't need them for ages, but I'm going to make them, put them in the fridge, and then when they're ready to be used, I'll just take them out and pop them on top of the stew. They need to go in the oven for a few minutes then. So I've got 40 grams of cheddar, I've got 125 grams of self-raising flour, and 50 grams of butter. Now I'm going to link to the recipe below, and you'll be able to look at the recipe and find the alternatives that you need if you're not a grams kind of cook. I like grams, they're very accurate. Having said that, that is not 50 grams of butter, it's more like 62.
So this is um, a hearty winter stew, John. Yeah. With dumplings. Nice. What nationality would you say it is? Well, I don't know really. I don't know what nationality it is. And then some greens because greens are good. Wonderful. And the dum and dumplings. Help yourself. Well, I will. <laughs> Haven't seen these guys for a while. So John's just come on his way home from work and we are going to have um, supper together. Yeah, have the middly one. Go on. What's in the stew underneath? Okay, so uh, all the stewy veg, you know, potatoes, Swede. Carrots, um, yeah, uh, not Swede, uh, turnip. What's not the difference between Swede and turnip? Swede is yellow. Okay, well I have white. Swedish turnip? Swedish turnip. Do you want another one? Yes, please. And, um, thank you. But then there's a mystery item in there that I think is going to make it really tasty. Bacon. No, no bacon. No bacon. Smells good. Does it smell good? Cucumber? <laughs> no, there's no cucumber. Tomatoes? Uh, there's a tomato element to it, but not tomatoes. Mushroom? There's some mushrooms. I don't know what the secret is. Should I tell you? Tell me. Chestnuts. Wouldn't have gotten that. Okay, so that then is our supper, and um, we'll see you soon. See you guys. Take care of yourselves. Thanks for watching. Broccoli. So yeah. a nice little green to go along with it as well.